Hello there everyone, welcome back to another video about a children's trading card game. Today I'm going to be doing my deck profile for the King of Beasts, who is currently about as good as his real counterpart was in his match against Gear 5 Luffy, which is to say, kind of mid. Uh, <laughs> that is a massive exaggeration. Uh, I do think this deck is pretty decent, uh, and it has the potential to be very, very powerful once we get ST05, but at the moment it is a very high rolly, if fun, though uh, often frustrating uh, deck in the One Piece card game. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to put him up here. You can see him. So, Kaido is an interesting deck. Uh, it's very unique in the sense that it is the only ramp deck in the game. Um, so what this means is generally you're trying to um, spend your early game getting as much dom as possible, as fast as possible, and then playing out these huge threats um, that... Uh, remove your opponent's board and help you establish massive dudes that you can use to beat your opponent down later on in the game. So this deck very much goes tall. Unfortunately, the meta is not super conducive to a deck that goes tall at the moment. Yes, that's good against Kid, but against everything else, Wide does seem to be being better uh, a lot of the time. Let's go ahead and do the list. We begin with our two costs. Unlike basically every other deck profile I've done, this deck plays no one costs because frankly there are no one costs worth playing in purple. Uh, and we have eight two-drop blockers. You can ditch all of these as 1k counters, uh, and they also uh, give you cheap ways when your opponent commits a large amount of Don into one of your big things. You can just keep that big thing al alive, or to just, you know, keep you alive if they keep going face. Uh, then into the three drops, I play two who's who. I think this card is really good. Now, the problem with this card is Don minus one early game feels really bad in, a, in this ramp deck, but man, you lose to Zoro so hard <laughs> if you don't have something like who's who to just deal with their attackers because a Zoro can establish like a five attacker board by like turn three. And like, if they're all going in at you five, 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 I'm, I promise you, bro, you're dead. Uh, you are not doing anything anywhere near fast enough. I think who's who is just mandatory in this current format to do anything, um, which really does suck. And I have two copies of Jack just for some extra ramp. The discard doesn't really feel that bad because you will open like bricks in your opening hand pretty much all the time. Uh, then we've got four copies of Sasaki. This is another ramp card. You tend not to want to play it though because it is a 2k counter, but obviously some ramp is better than no ramp. And then we've got an ulti here. This is a body mainly, uh, it's mainly a 2k counter, but it is a 5k body you can just throw down and start swinging with. Uh, On to the five drops, we've got five copies of Queen. This card is phenomenal. I'm really looking forward to that top eight. Uh, version when uh, that comes to English. Uh, a 6k blocker is really good. This filters you. I I'm telling you guys, without Queen, I really think purple would be on the verge of being unplayable. This will let you fix your hand. Uh, this gives you, like, a way to just stay alive. Like, it is so worth just, like, blocking with Queen and then protecting it because it's just increasing your power. And, like, keeping it around is so good. And it's a 6k attacker when you want to be uh, trying to secure the game. This card is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, then we've got five copies of X-Drake. Um, the on-play is actually not too bad. Forcing your opponent to pitch a card can sometimes be enough to win you the game. Um, but uh, And there have been discard variants of purple that I've uh, played before that can be really powerful if you get things set up right. Um, but it's very much a win-more strategy. I don't think it's really fleshed out at the moment. So the big reason you're playing this is for the 2k counter. But now we reach the top end, and this is what this deck does best. Four copies of King. This card is so good. Um, this is amazing into blue because four cost or lower is what Doffy is their bread and butter. This is really good into red because, again, four cost or lower is a lot of what they're playing. Uh, and this is really nice into green because it's a 7k uh, that deals with Okikus, that deals with chump blockers, uh, and threatens their kid. So this card, uh, the fact it's only Don minus one as well, is essential because uh, if this was a Don minus two like the next card, uh, I think it would have been pretty much unplayable. Uh, it's really expensive when you're doing these Don Minuses, but this is a card where that is absolutely worth it. This King, on the other hand, yeah, okay, it's good, don't get me wrong. Oftentimes, you will be getting the removal of both things, but it costs you one more uh, Don to play, and it costs you one more Don Minus. If this was a Don Minus 1, I would probably play three to four copies of this card. But the fact that it's a Don Minus 2 is so hefty, it means, like, if you're playing it at any time before turn 5, you're having a bad time. Um, I, I guess, obviously, if you see your ramp, then it feels a lot better, but, like, it's still, you know, like, it can feel really, really bad, but when you get it off, when your opponent doesn't just, you know, laugh at you, when you get to just nuke a board, it feels so good. Um, I think there is a, a compelling argument where you could swap one of these into one of these. Personally, I do like this, but, again, uh, you're free to do whatever you want. You're your own person, and I can't tell you what to do. Two copies of Nine Cost Kaido. This card is so strong. 
you get to destroy a blocker and then get a 10k swinging a swing in. Um, this is one of the reasons this deck can really destroy a kid deck because, well, if they've got an 8 cost kid established with a cheap blocker, you just play down your 9 cost Kaido, remove the blocker, swing for 11 potentially if you just slap a doll onto this. Um, and more often than not, that is going to deal with the kid. Um, you'd be surprised how little counter in hand kid players often have uh, and how that really can just be enough. Uh, and even if it isn't, just try again on the next turn. You'll probably still be alive. And then we've got three copies of uh, 10 cost Kaido. Uh, nuking a board is phenomenally powerful. 12k attacker is phenomenally powerful. Um, this is an instant out to 8 cost kid. The biggest issue with this card is that you need to be so careful when you play it. Because if you play this at the wrong time uh, and your opponent is able to establish rushes uh, and you don't have many cards in hand and you're at low life, you lose. If your opponent is playing kid and you're at one life, you probably still lose because uh, they're just going to slap seven dons onto their leader and go 12-12 and you're going to go, oh, I guess I lose, right? Um, this is a card where pretty much you can crystallize all the skill of a Kaido player into when they play this because if they played at the wrong time, they're garbage and if they played at the right time, they're lucky because we don't like Kaido players. Finally, uh, for the uh, sort of main suite of... we got four copies of Onigashima. You cannot play... If you're not going to play Onigashima, don't bother playing Purple, play something else. Let's move on. Uh, we have the events. This deck plays quite a few. Four copies of Blast Breath. This card is so good. Uh, this is the most efficient use of Dons in the game. Don minus one, and you pay one, so it's, it's one, and, and you're going to get it back on the next turn if you play this any time once you've hit ten Don anyway. Uh, and you get 4k. Oh, it's so good. Um, and it really does save your bacon a lot. Also, two copies of Thunder Bagua. This is another uh, 4k. Obviously, this one is a little bit um, more expensive, but um, this uh, is not Don minusing you. It is a 4k. You often can use it. This is really nice as well. And finally, Brachio Bomber, because man, if I have to deal with another 5 cost law <laughs> or like 5 cost queen, uh, that and like just hit, hit, hit over them. Now, nah, bro, I'm gonna delete them with my Brachio Bomber. Feels really nice. I think this card right now is really, really good, but I do think um, once we get ST05, we are gonna see some changes to this list. So that is my Kaido deck. Overall, I think this deck is pretty good. Uh, if you get lucky, you can just steamroll the competition, but there's a reason you don't see that many Kaido players at top tables, especially right now, because this deck is very high rolly, um, and yes, whilst it can counter some decks, uh, it, I really just think it doesn't have the counter power, it doesn't have the consistency um, to be uh, a deck I would want to take to an event uh, if I was purely being optimal. Now, if I want to have fun and turn my brain off, I would play Kaido, because let me tell you, if you're operating on basically no sleep in like a 10 round tournament, yeah, Kaido is very easy to play. <laughs> yeah, you will be fine. Um, so I think there is that advantage. And for that reason, you may see uh, lots of people uh, play it. But there we go. That is it for this deck profile. Please do let me know what you guys thought in the comment section down below. Did you enjoy it? Did you like the list? Do you think I should make some changes? Let me know. Join my Discord server. It's linked in the description below. And while you're down there, subscribe to the channel. 75% of my viewers are not subscribed. Are you kidding me? I'd be basically at 10k subscribers if you were all subbed. Bro, I'll, I, want, I want that. I want that. I want that bad. I likes you and I wants you. So can you make it happen, please? Would appreciate that. Thanks so much for watching, and please do subscribe for more One Piece content, including lots more deck profiles such as this, and hopefully slightly better banter. And I look forward to seeing you guys with the better banter in the next video. Cheers!